I grew up, um, my primary school years in Lawrenceville, which is a, you know, it's a farm with a dairy factory, and so we had a lot of friends that had farms. And so at a young age, I was, I think I felt like I was made to watch sheep being slaughtered. Um, and I knew, you know, so I knew where sheep meat came from. Growing up in those environments, um, textured do meat animals really have no effect on me whatsoever. I, yeah, I don't feel squeamish around them, and I've actually since, following that project, went and photographed an abattoir um, because I was sort of interested in the ideas around uh, our relationship to animals in the world. You know, one of them is you collect them as specimens and put them into museums. Another is you create these kind of factories of mechanised death so you can provide food for us to eat. And what, what, what's it like inside those factories, inside that abattoir? That actually did affect me, um, seeing the sheep chain um, at the local abattoir running and the sheep coming in live at one end, looking pretty freaked out, wondering what's happening, and going through this production line where they go in as a live animal and come out at the end as a carcass. Uh, but the day I went in when the sheep chain was running, the thing that got me was actually the smell. There was this kind of the smell of dead sheep, I don't know, the processing of the sheep and what's in their stomachs. And it kind of got into my clothes, which was okay because I could wash those, but it kind of got into my head. Like the sort of taste of that smell was with me for several days afterward. I think one thing with photography is, and certainly today with the internet and Google, any idea you have, you could put into Google and find something else that's done it. And so you really need to think, you know, to come up with the subjects for your own reasons. Um, and then have your own angle on how you're doing it and just be satisfied with that.